My boy Link's actual just got a new Hellcat. Got to change the tires, so might as well. Yes, sir. I knew you still had it in you. <laughs> I had it in you, baby. Let's go. <laughs> What's up? Yes, sir. <laughs> Get that Hellcat, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, that's yeah, fucking insane, I guess. <laughs> we are on our way to OSW right now. What's up? Got no hood, and it looks like it's gonna rain. Driver drift part of the track, they said. It would yeah. be fun. We've literally been just jumping bridge to bridge, basically. I'm trying to get to OSW, get to the driver's meeting in time. But my car is getting a lot of water in it, which is sick. But we got the sun on this side, and then a lot of rain on that side, so it's pushing left, so hopefully it just makes an opening for us. Finally, hopefully I make it there on time. driven in a couple months so this should be pretty interesting I'm gonna take it kind of easy this first run but we should progress throughout the day It's just the, the kidney bean, so typical OSW kidney bean, so shouldn't be too complicated. But I'm really excited to get out and start driving again because it's been way too long.
Besides the whole uh, fuel tank leak issue, which I have fixed for the time being, but I have a fuel cell that I'm going to be putting in. It's just I have to bring it to Tom's shop and weld some stuff up, so that's why it's taking forever. So hopefully I can get my own shop soon and just do all that stuff myself and not have to rely on other people. up in this 150 horsepower thing the problem is i had to go from third on the run up to second on that first turn it really everything up yeah. just because i was so used to like just having it floored and then once i put and went into the turn pulled the hydrant like other clutch i gave it a ton of gas it just started bogging out of clutch it again second gear yeah bro yeah bro yeah bro that's what happened bro Take all right i'll catch you i'm gonna go i'm gonna go run the 10 minutes that i have Yo, you on this one yeah Issues. 
and it's just basically I need a surge tank for this thing. So I gotta do the fuel cell real soon so I can start running the bank because as soon as I'm on like an incline or whatever, it just fuel cuts. them drive you can kind of see if they're just not very comfortable or whatever uh, I just back off I'd rather just back off even if they are okay and not risk slamming my car into their car for one lap Testing at its finest right now. This, this is what's this been going on. For this piece. Got my Zoom class with Business Finance. 
checking valve wash on the head right now with the camshafts and the lifter buckets over here got all these parts everywhere stuff happened to the e36 so on my way home with e36 i didn't notice when i ran over the cone <laughs> You can maybe see it right here that it tweaked the radiator. As you can see, it's not perfectly straight. Not a huge deal. It's not leaking any coolant out of here. So yeah, because I failed to notice that my zip ties broke on the radiator and the radiator was pushed onto the serpentine belt area. So this hose that comes back here was just laying on it and drained coolant. So I had to, I have to get a new hose for that. It also completely wrecked the fan wiring, as you can see right there. So got a new fan over here that I'm gonna install with a new relay and everything. But yeah, that's what's going on with the E36. It was kind of hectic getting home at like two in the morning because I know a lot of you guys know that I drive this thing to the event and back home. So it got a little uh, iffy. I ended up getting this tape from a gas station and we were able to drain all the coolant, draw off the hose and then tape around it. And it slowed it down enough that I could get home with no fan. I don't even know how the car didn't overheat. So props to the E36. Drop a like for the E36 making it home still. Oh, the red line is the top part of the My number. My man Sam okay. killing it right now. So I'm going to do that math for professor. you now. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you understand why the video production has been a lot slower lately. I've just had a lot going on with school and I've been working. This build is not cheap and it's not gonna just pay for itself. So yeah, that's why it's taking a little bit longer for the Jay-Z build. I'm doing the best I can to finish up with the valve lash and then I need to get an engine hoist to hoist the block onto a stand and then I can clean it all off. I'll record all of that so you guys can see. Yeah, you got the style 32s on there because I'm gonna put the 67s on the E60. But that, that is my daily right now. The turbo coolant lines on it are completely shot, leaking coolant everywhere, so it's not drivable right now, so that's gonna be really fun. Hopefully I don't have to drop the subframe or whatever. It's just gonna be a huge mess and it's kind of annoying because these two cars, this one's down getting the Jay-Z, that one's a drift car and it has no windows and whatever. And it's also down right now, but that's gonna be fixed real soon. But I can't be having three BMWs down, but I guess BMW life. But yeah, let me know if you guys want me to record me working on the N54. It's had a couple issues here and there. It's expected for a car with 150K. I've already put around 10K miles on it. So been driving the hell out of it and it's been decent. Just gotta fix some of the little kinks it has. All these hoses on the car are like 12 years old and have a lot of miles on them. So it is to be expected that they will leak eventually and it's starting to happen to me now. So hopefully I can fix those, the car will drive. I'm gonna leave it stock for right now, focusing all my money towards this and the E36. So, yeah, be patient guys, please. And I'm gonna leave it off with that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment if you want. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.